Well, hello, and thanks for tuning in again. You know, uh, last weekend I had a pretty uh, disastrous evening of astrophotography, and uh, in spite of a forecast that called for clear skies all evening, uh, clouds rolled in about, ooh boy, began to roll in about 30 minutes after I started imaging. Uh, as a result, I only ended up with about 45 minutes of total exposure time that particular evening. Now, of course, I'm planning on going out on the next clear night and adding more data. But uh, being that I got 45 minutes, naturally I went back in and uh, did a, you know, some quick processing and stacking uh, to see exactly, uh, exactly what I might be able to achieve later on. Uh, uh, the Heart Nebula was the target for the night. Uh, I've never uh, photographed that particular uh, nebula before. So I was curious to see exactly what I might be able to expect. Well, what I'd like to do now is uh, take you through some of the steps that I did uh, to process this image with very limited data. All right? All right, I'm going to go over to a PixInsight right now. Okay. Now, this is the, the calibrated and stacked image. And right now, I will give the image a, uh, give it a stretch. And the first thing I will do here is give it a background extraction. Okay. All right, now this is what I ended up with, uh, with just 45 minutes worth of data. Now, as you can see, the image is, uh, is pretty grainy, uh, as you would expect from limited data. But uh, it's not actually, it's not horrible, but uh, it is grainy. Uh, I was actually surprised that it came out quite as well as it did. I didn't expect this much. All right. Uh, what I decided to do, being that I saw this, was to see exactly just how far I could go with the processing and see what I could pull out of this image. All right. Uh, the first thing I did, of course, was give it a, a, a normally... A, uh, the, well, the image that I actually processed, I cropped it, uh, of course, uh, background extraction, and uh, I gave it a color calibration. And after that, I ran the uh, uh, the easy the easy uh, easy denoise uh, to take care of the noise in the image. Now, with an image this noisy, it's not going to uh, it's not going to do the greatest job, but it was very helpful, and uh, I did run that initially. All right. Now, after that, there was also, if you, as you can see, there's a bit of a green color cast here. So I ran the uh, SCNR uh, application here to uh, smooth that out. And also, uh, as I said, the color calibration. Now, after I ran the color calibration, all right, this is what I came up with. Now, uh, at this point, I went ahead and I made the image nonlinear. Okay. Now, after this, I ran StarNet and I made a starless image out of this data. And if you look over here, and here is the uh, the star mask that it created. Okay. Now, from this point, what I did was I went to channel extraction. And I created the red, blue, and green channels. And here I have the red, the blue, and the green. Now, initially, what I did was I actually deleted the blue channel, and I created a separate blue channel in pixel math. Because the blue channel didn't uh, look particularly good. It was the weakest of the channels, and it was extremely grainy. So I created a blue channel for this. And uh, after creating these channels, what I did was I used uh, the red channel as my reference. And I basically tried to get the bright. I used uh, 
the histogram tool and uh, and curves to bring the the brightness up and try and match it with the red as much as possible. Uh, the green channel in this particular demonstration is a bit grainy. It wasn't like this when I originally processed the image. But uh, with that being said, the next step here was to reintegrate uh, all three of those all three of those channels. So what I did was I went to LRGB Combine, and what I did was I put the red channel in the uh, luminance. I put the red channel also in the red channel. I put the blue channel in the green, and the green channel in the blue. And then uh, I combined all of those channels. And then once those channels were all combined, this is this was the end result. Now, as you can see here, it's beginning to sort of take on that uh, Hubble palette type of look. Now, uh, from this point, it was just essentially just a matter of uh, working with the curves, working with uh, color saturation and color masks. And uh, I did that. I uh, uh, I brought out the, uh, the the color of the nebulosity at the uh, at the perimeter of the uh, of the nebula and I also brought out the blue here with the blue color mask and uh, what I did was I also created I used the uh, uh, the range selection tool and then I inverted it and by doing that I actually brought down the uh, the blank areas uh, to darken that in the background in addition to using curves after all of that was done uh, tweaking the color saturation, tweaking the contrast, and I also added some sharpening to the image as well. This is the final image. All right, so as you can see, I've gone from I've gone from this to the starless image. to the LRGB combination image and also the channel, ex channel extracted image to the final image here where as you can see the colors have been uh, have been intensified um, we've got some blue actually some blue nebulosity out here uh, I like I like to try and try and somewhat exaggerate the colors uh, somewhat I might have overdone it just a little bit here if you look up in these areas, it looks a little, mm, a bit coarse here, the colors and whatnot. But uh, obviously, that's a, re a result of the uh, of the lack of data, and uh, I hope to get about another four or five hours more uh, worth of data to add to this. And of course, once that's done, and uh, noise reduction is actually added in the uh, in the actual working image, uh, things are going to look probably 50% better than they do here. But I was really impressed with what I was able to uh, to pull out of this image. Okay, well, I just thought I would put together a very, very short, rough uh, video uh, concerning working with extremely limited data. Well, it just goes to show that uh, all isn't necessarily lost. Uh, sometimes you can get something that's uh, uh, that's workable. Uh, it's not the greatest image, uh, of course, because of the lack of data. All right. Well, I think that'll do it for this video. And as always, until next time, and clear skies.